What's going on, homies? Welcome back to another Road to Glory episode. Now today we're gonna be playing. Uh, our, we're gonna be playing three games. We're gonna be playing uh, our, against FSU. We're gonna be playing our bye week. Hopefully Maryland is ranked a little bit high. If they win like the next two weeks, and they're like ranked in the top ten. That'd be fantastic when we play them. And then we'll be playing at Wake Forest. And also. Um, I've gotten requests for this and I'm not sure where it's exactly at. Maybe it's here But let me check. Let me view settings. Okay. Yeah, it's in here But I'm gonna I'm gonna increase the difficulty because I play a rookie if you didn't know because I just I like stat padding and I'm not a big fan of okay. I just did it again. Fuck me. I'm not a big fan of you know getting that much of a challenge i like a little bit of a challenge but uh i'm just gonna turn it up to varsity right now and I, i'm gonna see what we're looking like at that and if it's just getting to the point where we're getting smoked against like unranked teams which we shouldn't really because i i do know how to play this game uh i'll, I'll turn it down if that's the case but we're gonna go against uh number uh or number unranked what am i saying uh three and no fsu all right so, you know those rain games. Uh, FSU was one of my options. Tails never fails. I, I It's literally, it, it's 100% the most accurate thing that you can ever do. Florida State was one of my options for school because, like, I really freaking like their field. I mean, I like the little uh, circles going out, and I like the... Uh, Oh, okay. So this is what this difficulty holds. I like, I like their their end zones. I kind of like their unis too. I don't like these ones. I don't like those regular white ones. So, uh, that, that would have been something going against it. But if we're just if we're gonna get more drop balls since uh, we're turning up the difficulty, I'm gonna be kind of mad. But we got a first down. That's all that matters. Now the reason why I haven't been uploading so much is because uh, I don't know. It's that's a pick. <gasps> okay, picks aren't that easy in this in this difficulty. Dang that, but I thought I was gonna get my first pick right there of this episode. I don't know if I got one in the last few games, but uh, I I haven't been uploading because I don't know. I kind of lost my spark a little bit, and oh, nice little tackle, and then he got like plowed down. And there's a lot of stuff like kind of going on with uh, not really. I mean. A lot in video games too and also a lot in my life so uh for instance i mean we just had apex legends come out like two weeks ago so i've been grinding that a lot and then i got 2k not too long ago slide 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 it's all right i got 2k and i've been playing a lot of 2k on my free time because i just have i've been having fun with this one uh the reason why i didn't play the last one is because there was no like rookie but there's no rookie in this one either but i'm still having like a really fun time okay oh if we're gonna be dropping balls on this new difficulty that's gonna be super annoying but i, I really like the 2k this year i'm currently like uh, a six 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 five shooting guard for the toronto raptors and I currently like average 30 or 40 points a game or something like that. I'm still like really good because I've upgraded. He's like a, a shot creating, uh, slashing and driving, whatever it's called. And I, for mostly what I do is I like pass it to the guy on the wing and then I drive in and he like oops it to me or pat like bounce passes it to me and I get free two points. And I, I just uh, upgraded my three point shot recently because of the Twitch Prime uh rewards that you get with the, the the 2k19 you get i believe five five twitch prime packs that you can use in my team which i don't play my team at all like i haven't played my team like ever in 2k i just don't like it and then you also got 25,000 vc now when i think about it it was 2k17 that's probably one of my favorite 2ks and i remember they had the the twitch prime the twitch prime kind of promo going on and it gave you like 60,000 VC if you had Twitch Prime and the also the cool part was uh you could use multiple codes like the, for instance um Zepsy he doesn't play 2k he gave me his code or no he didn't give me his code yet but my friend Joe did he doesn't play 2k he gave me his code so uh that was kind of like a few years back, but this year he gave me his code and I can't put in two codes that like give me the same reward. But like a few few years back, I think Dixon's injured. You could. And it's third down. I'm just gonna uh mama I ain't raising no biscuit. You know, we can't change it. We haven't played Oh sh okay, let's do this and then I forgot we can audible. And I'm gonna change this play up because I don't like where Kendrick is going. I feel like I can get a better 
play. Let's see, hopefully they don't blitz us. Don't drop it, and we are... Tough sight, honestly. It is a tough scene, but... Yeah, I, I was thinking about it. You could, like, constantly, like, in 2K17, you could just keep putting in, like, different, like, Twitch codes or whatever. Like, oh, Lord! You could put in different people's codes. Like, I, I at the end of the day, I had, like, 250,000 VC. And then, thinking about it, I'm like, hmm, why didn't I just make a whole bunch of Twitch accounts and, like, do the 30-day Prime Trial and just get that, like, constantly get VC just fed into my account. I, I think about that. I'm like, why didn't I do that? I'm kind of stupid. I'd kind of be scamming the system a little bit, but it's completely all right. Now we are getting into the red zone. We are in the red zone, actually. Let's see if we can actually convert this time around. We weren't able to do a last possession, but uh, why'd you stop? Why did you stop? And also, I, I talked about the grinding aspect. Of course, Apex Legends came out. I've been playing it quite a bit on PC. I played it last night with Derek. Uh, I uploaded a video on it. I was I, I kind of uploaded that video to test the waters to see uh, where um, my viewership would be. Like, who, where, how would it be received? I didn't know, like, eh, maybe I'll get more views on it. I just need to kind of see that because if I got more views on it, I would upload it more. So I didn't get that many views on it. So I'm back to NCAA. Of course, I would do NCAA as well. Uh, as Apex Legends, but I just wanted to again test the waters. And also recently, I've got I got a uh, Dark Matter touchdown. For those that don't know what Dark Matter is, it's if so. There's challenges for every gun in Call of Duty. You have to get like a hundred headshots with each gun, and then get um, I'm getting blitz. I don't like it. And then you have to do a whole bunch of other challenges for each gun that, uh, like, after you get the 100 headshots, that gives you, like, five more challenges. And you got to do all those. And then you get gold on one gun. And then you got to get gold on every single gun to get Dark Matter. And I believe it took me, in, in total game time, it took me around uh, five and a half, six days to get Dark Matter, which is kind of cool. And then, also, I believe it was yesterday? It was either yesterday or the day before. I, I hit Master Prestige. Now, Master Prestige is basically just the highest level that you can reach, and not really the highest level you can reach. It's to the point where you can't unlock anything. So, I hit I hit Master Prestige. So, there's 10 Prestiges. Each Prestige is 55 levels. And every time, for instance, I get to level 55, I have everything unlocked. After I Prestige, everything goes away. So, like, I can't use those guns, and I have to unlock them all over again. You have to do that 10 times, and then you can uh, hit Master Prestige and um you just kind of keep leveling up after that so like i'm at level 56 right now and the max is actually a thousand which uh to be quite honest i don't see myself doing that i my goal and i, I said this before this cod game came out i said i, I really want to get like in black ops 3 i got master prestige but in, i didn't get dark matter and then in world war 2 i got chrome camo which is the equivalent to dark matter but i didn't get i didn't get master prestige I said, this game, I'm going to get all that stuff. And then I'm also think, contemplating going for 100% completion. Now, that is how I know I've, I've gone completely f***ing insane because that will take forever to get 100% completion. But I'm kind of in a grindy mood. I'm in a very grindy mood. And if you could just... There you go, touch them. So then, I, there again, bear with me with uh, all these new games coming out and all this kind of stuff happening. It's, it's kind of preventing me from uploading a little bit Oh, that was close. I don't know if you could hear that sound that I made in my mouth, but again, it was quite magical. But, uh, yeah, again, bear with me. I'm trying to balance it. And then I also haven't been in the mood, really, to, to record the last few days. I've had a lot of time to record the last few days. I just haven't been in the mood as well. So, I, I'm kind of into multiplayer gaming. That was a good pass right there. Good timing. And then two little nice broken tackles would have pushed him out of bounds. So... There, shut them down, man. But we're gonna actually get. Is this a run play? Is this an option? I think this. Yeah, this is a run play. We haven't done any run plays this game, so we're gonna give it to the old half of Baccaroonie. So, like, <laughs> take him, boy. I'll help you. I'll help you. Look at you. Your dog. Your dog, Darren Kendrick. Second to two. 13 yard line. Let's see if we can get this in the end zone this play. Now, uh, 
I really, to be quite honest, I see, I feel a little bit of a difference with the difficulty, but it's not too much. Like, it's to the point where I could, I can manage, I could throw smarter passes, because that's what I'm doing this game. Instead of kind of throwing Hail Marys, you can see me on curl routes. I'm actually doing curl routes. Like, I'm doing comeback routes. I'm doing the, the, the smart type of plays that I wouldn't do. Oh, he jumped, but I didn't hike it. Touchdown. Now, FSU is keeping this quite tight, keeping it quite uh quite warm in here now let's try to calm it down even though we are away we're looking a little bit warm i tried to calm it down but i couldn't and <laughs> oh sh joseph go 57 57 yards 57 seconds to get approximately like 45 yards and it's a piece of heckin cake especially with my legs look at my legs <laughs> slide there you go, and then we'll rush up so we don't have to waste any timeouts. Just because I love you, coach. Actually, uh, the clock doesn't start until you line up and you're raring to go. And I think I'm going to do the same thing, but on the left side, if I can. Ooh, or can get in the end zone right there. So we're up by 14 at the beginning of the second half. See if we can get some yards for my boy Kendrick. Hey, we're giving the ball pretty nicely. Usually, we're, we're super selfish. We don't give up the ball at all. But look at us being... A bunch of nice boys. Now, yesterday was also the NBA All-Star game. And I'm a big fan of NBA, if you didn't know that. So, I was watching I was watching all of the All-Star weekend. And I had, like, two two people that I wanted to win, like, the competition. <laughs> and it was Miles Bridges for the dunk competition because he went to Michigan State. He's, like, one of my... He's one of my... He's my favorite rookie this year, of course. And then... Uh, for the three-point competition, I wanted Danny Green to win because he plays for the Raptors, and I'm a Raptors fan. And also, thinking about that, I probably could have passed it to B, first of all. But thinking of that, I have a Raptors game that I'm going to in early March. It's currently February 18th. I think it's March 11th is the game. It's against the Cavs, so it's not a long drive. I'm not driving all the way up to Toronto. But I'm also thinking about going to the, the NBA All-Star game next year because that'll be... It's in Chicago, and Chicago's not a long drive. It's like four hours away from me. What a good catch. It's a four-hour drive or whatever from where I'm at. And I, Chicago's like my favorite city. I, I It's so beautiful with like the river, the river flowing through it. And leading on to another point, I really want to go to Chicago during St. Paddy's Day because St. Paddy's Day uh, in Chicago, they dye the river green. And it's super cool. It's just something that's on my my bucket list of things to do before I die. I guess that's what a bucket list is. Oh, and we're injured. Awesome. We were out for a play. We just kind of broke a we broke a leg, but we we're back in. We're back in. They just had to like put some put some flex seal on that broken leg. Okay, that's that's all right. Oh, on second thought, I might actually just play this game and then the game against Maryland, because these games. Oh, geez. Because these games might be longer, or at least the Maryland one will be. Because uh, according to last year's game against Maryland, uh, yeah, they put up a hell of a fight. So it might actually be a relatively close game. Ooh, that's a good pass. That I might actually go for it on fourth down. Nah, I'll just have my kicker do the do the job. Oh, they want me to go for it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, coach. I can do it. You know me. Let's go, Dabo. Dabo got. He's like, you know, what? I could. I know you could do it, Nicholas Savage. It's like you're fucking right. I could do it, but he can't. So when I was thinking about throwing that pass right there, it was more. It was kind of. It wasn't more like I want that to be by the sideline. It was kind of I want it to be like between where you're at right now and uh, the sideline. It was like a little in between thing going on there, but that's what I got. That's what I totally meant to do, right? I'm, it's awesome. So if you guys want to see any games like. Um, Apex, I would love to record Apex. It's very fun for me right now. Uh, just any game, you just comment it down below. What? What? Uh, get down without fumbling. That was a good run. And to that Eagles fan that's in my comment section, that's a loyal fan. I, I would do a dynasty, but um, I'm having troubles just trying to keep one series up on my channel. I'm trying, I'm having troubles just uploading one, uh, one video one series so i don't think choking myself to death with two series would be smart because i do want to i really do want to get this account to the or this 
this guy, this character to the NFL. I think that'd just be a cool kind of experience for me to, to kind of say, yeah, I brought a guy through Road to Glory all four years and put him into the NFL. Now, I have done that before, but when I made the character, that wasn't my first intentions. That was kind of a... It was like a few months later after I completed that four-year Road to Glory, I was like, you know what, I'm going to put him into the... into. Uh, Madden, I'm gonna throw that away because I'm gonna get sacked. And by the way, he played for the Vikings. He was really good. And then I like, I played like five games with them, and then I got tired. And that's usually what I do in Madden. I play like a connected franchise. I'm like, yo, dude, I want to be like a halfback for the Browns. And then I get tired of being a halfback for the Browns, and then I just don't play it for the rest of eternity. And then I'll be like, yo, dude, I want to be a quarterback for the Broncos. Play like four games with, as a quarterback for the Broncos and never played ever again. That's just. How I am. Why are we lining up on this side? Oh my goodness. Is this the infamous play that I had to, that we did? Um, oh my goodness. No. Okay, I got to call a timeout because it's going to glitch out. Okay, I didn't think it would glitch out in game two. That's the play that it did uh, when we were fighting for the first string. And it glitched out and I had to actually like leave the game. So I had to call a timeout right there. It kind of sucks, but... And that's maybe a bad play call for now. <laughs> I really think coach is just gonna run, have us run the ball out to like get some time off the clock. So if anything really insanely cool, crazy cool cat happens, I will cut in. So we were able to win that game 35 to 21 against FSU and we're gonna hop right into our bye week. So uh, I'm not sure if we were, I thought we were number three last week. But we might have moved up a spot. Now, let's check, actually, the Heisman race before we go into the next week. And I actually am not sure who number one is. Now, we're sitting atop of the Heisman race. We Nothing's moved, really. That's uh, Braxton Miller. Who I don't know who that is. don't know who that is. And I'm assuming that's Jake, uh, Jake's fr Jake from. Oh, my goodness. That hurt. Okay. So, let's see what's going on in the top 25. I was about to say 45. And it's Virginia Tech. Now, in the ACC, do we play Virginia Tech? Because uh, that'll be pretty cash money if we do. If we do, that's going to be really a, a fight to the death. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if we played them last year. So, uh, of course, Alabama, Texas A&M, they're going to be playing each other this week. There's a lot of, like, there's going to be a lot of games that are really... See, number nine is playing number 10. Number six is playing number seven. Number four is playing number three. So, a lot of... Fist fighting this week. Let's actually check if we play Virginia Tech this season. Uh, I'm not sure. I thought we did. And if we do, that'd be fantastic. Of course, my boys at uh, Maryland, they had to lose. So that's going to be fantastic. We don't play Virginia, Virginia Tech. But we don't play them in the, the, uh, during the season. We're playing them in the conference championships. So they don't lose and they just stay at the number one spot all year. We'll just, you know, take them down in that, that week. So we're going to... Skip to next week and play against Maryland. So we stay at the number two spot and Maryland loses two in a row. So now they're unranked. Just it's crazy how they go from 12 to unranked within two weeks. I don't know how that happens, but we're going to hop right into this game. So we're home in this game. They're going to choose heads or tails. And of course, it only works for us. The tails never fails, only works for us. So we're going to kick it to them first because we're smart. First play of the game, we always got to do something magical. My boy Dixon, he's already come. He's still coming up big, even though we, we got that new difficulty. Now I'm going to run because I'm just confident. Do a cut, got a cut, got a cut. Ooh, don't get injured. That'd be bad. Now, also, I did. I noticed last game, I have a glove on my right hand. And uh, usually when I make a player or even when I play football in real life, don't wear a glove on my throwing hand that's just weird so what are you doing what are you doing why why what are you doing what were you doing but i don't wear a glove on my throwing hand it just makes it a little bit harder to throw i feel in my opinion but going back to what we were talking about last game i was talking about my my like uploading i go kind of like through phases of games for instance uh so like some for like maybe a few weeks i'll be in uh Sliding <laughs> and I think I'm injured awesome. How come Maryland always can like get an edge on us? Randomly, they're gonna be like our main enemy like throughout our our uh, college career like, That's straight up, but oh, Fuck, I don't even know what I was talking about before so Like I go through uh, phases like of games like for weeks for instance um, Like t a few weeks ago I was 
Actually, no, I've been pretty consistent recently. <laughs> that sounds so bad. Uh, I've been into COD the last few weeks, but then in like the last three days or so, I've really been into 2K. So, again, I've kind of gone through phases. I might be playing, I might go play 2K after this, or I might go play COD. I'm not sure. And then also, I don't like gaming by myself, so... Um, Caden's sick right now, so he's not playing COD, and then Derek's working, so I can't play Apex. And then that's when I play 2K, because 2K is solo, at least for me, because I play my career. And he might be able to get the first down. Yeah, he kind of like, kind of reached a little bit, but he still got it. It's already the second quarter. Uh, us being injured really shortened the game quite a bit. Now, the question is, will I up, or not upload this? Will I edit this right after recording it because you know me with my uh, inconsistencies I, I really wish B wouldn't have stopped running you know B if you didn't fucking stop running if you didn't like uh, give out on your legs I would have passed it to you and I also noticed I need to stop cussing my videos it's bad uh, I, I'm, I've toned it down a lot this video I've noticed that but it's not I shouldn't do it really Ooh, our teammate got pancaked down in the red zone. Oh, okay, we're injured again. Welcome to the third quarter. Uh, at this rate, I might just play that third game because clearly we are getting injured every single quarter. Pass it to him. Hopefully you don't drop it. Good call. And now they're actually they're watching for the scramble. So we we shouldn't we won't be able to scramble anymore, and we probably won't get injured. So that's the good part about them watching for the scramble. And that should be a good amount of yardages, Joseph. Yardages? Yards? Good. Yeah, that's right. Yardage. Good amount of yardage. Is that what I'm trying to say? And Joseph trucks him over. We're gonna get, actually, no, I'm not giving it to the halfback. <laughs> me being, me being unselfish? Me being selfless? No, that's, that's not me. That's not who I am, mate. So, we gonna... Oh, man. You... That's the only time I'll accept you to stop. I will accept you. I will allow you. This is the only time I will allow you to stop running in the middle of a route is when you're just going to, like, juke out all the defenders and start going downfield and get us, like, 25 yards. Field should be in the end zone in this play. Let's see if we can actually throw our first touchdown. That'd be pretty cool. Yep, touchdown. Yeah, that was our first touchdown. I wasn't very sure if that was our first touchdown because this game's been flying by. Now, we're 6 for 7. Maryland's still in this game. They're only down by one possession. Uh, they get tied up getting into the end. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can get something dank delicious going on with this. I, I honestly, oh my goodness. I, I held on X and right as I was like putting pressure on X to throw it, I felt like such a sudden rush of regret just come to my mind. And whenever I like regret doing something like in a video game like 2K where I throw a bad pass or like shoot a bad shot i'll like close my eyes and look away at the same time i'll be like nope 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 that was a good pass right there though that was a good decision but whenever i i know i made bad decisions i just like try to undo it by like pressing harder on the button and then and then looking away and a lot of times in 2k it works so i, I don't know First, first, second in inches, that's fine. But we're gonna rush up to the line because we have a rushy boy offense. Now we have a play action QB option. I think that was the, the, the play, I think that was. Dixon should be able to get on the comeback route. The question is, do I want to hit him on that? And I probably, yeah, I do, that's a lot more yards. I thought that that one corner that was on him tightly was, was just gonna wait there and wait for him to come back. I didn't know how far downfield Dixon was actually gonna go with that play. So, might be able to catch Bryant over the middle. Probably be a good call. <laughs> I was worried about getting sacked right there. Don't be injured, please don't be injured, please don't be injured. You've been injured way too much this game. You're fine, you're fine. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. We're not gonna run it because our passing game is just way too cash money. We're, look we're looking so hot, let's just calm it down. It's not even loud here, but we're gonna calm it down because it's super hot in here. That's a good pass at there and a touchdown. Now we're starting to pull away from Maryland. Now we're by two possessions. They weren't able to strike back on their possession. Let's see if we can really end out this game with style like that. Yep, Dixon. He's like, hey, hey, I'm open. I'll catch it 100%. I won't bobble it. I'm not that bad. Second thought, we might just play this game out and have this be the final game of the episode just because uh, it's we are still playing. And I... 
I, I don't know how motivated I'll be to edit this after, to be quite honest. So, we'll, we're gonna do what, what'll help me. <laughs> Jackson Boar! Now we are, I think we're, I think we're in the red zone, just barely. And, uh, is there any, can I pick the play please, thank you. Yeah, we're in the red zone, just barely. Uh, Dixon, if he goes kind of deep, I might be able to catch him. That's, oh, I was so scared that that guy was going to get my feet, so I kind of threw it out of pure panic. That's my bad. Overton, I'm going to put him on a slant, Dixon on a slant, Joseph is going in. Let's do that. Yeah, that's, that's actually a really good play to get a first down. Doesn't get us in the end zone, but it was a good pass. And this curl route might be able to get us in the end zone, but usually it's super congested in the end zone, so they might put like three guys guarding Dixon. And I just kind of put it in there. Hey, school record uh, receiving touchdown yards. My boy uh, Dixie Stick got it. That's cool. Of course, we could waste time again if we wanted to. I'm gonna see if I can get in the end zone one more time, just to make sure it's out of reach. We're up by 21, but you just can't you can't be too sure if you know what I'm saying. Ooh, yeah, let's start let's start off good by throwing a pick. That would have been kind of cool. It's kind of weird. I've, I've probably thrown more possible picks than I ever have on this new difficulty, and none of them have been picks. So, that kind of confuses me. I don't know wh why. No, I, I'm just going to run it. Probably be smart. And then slide. Cha-cha, slide. Rush up offense because we don't have no time to waste. We That's a double negative. I'm kind of mad at myself for using that. Dixon should be open on the right side of the field. I'm gonna send uh, all three of them deep so then there's kind of like no defenders over there. Or at least not a certain amount. There you go. That's exactly how that play was uh, planned in my head. That's how I, I wrote it up. Let's do a rushing offense again just to get up to the line. Let's do the same play but flip it. So let's send everybody deep. Uh, Dixon's not on that side though. So probably Richard or Overton is gonna be the, the go-to man. And first down, first down, that's all that matters. Rush, is, rush up, rush up, and then I will run it in the end zone. So let's put uh, uh, hot route, hot route, hot route, okay. Hot route, hot, hot route, okay, there you go. I'm raring to go. And just run it in. Oh, that hurt. Oh, wow, they actually just like returned the. A kick for a touchdown. See? Again, it's not over. They could score that quick, and then it's the, our ball again. Now, we have four verticals. I'm kind of confident in Dixon to get open, even on this new difficulty. So, let's try it. Oh, boy. Oh, oh no! He almost had it! No! I think I'm just going to run the clock out now, because we're... we're yeah, even though we're still up by 21, and that's what I was kind of like, oh, you never know, but yeah, I think we're safe, to be quite honest. I don't think they're going to come back, especially with Kendrick just kind of falling down like that. So we were able to win that game against Maryland, which happens to be our rival, which uh, realistically, not our rival, but kind of our rival, 48 to 34. So we're going to exit this game and go to the next week. So we're still ranked number two at uh, being 5-0. and oh. Now, I've also noticed I didn't get a freaking screenshot. Good thing I have extras. <laughs> so, I actually have a thumbnail. Dang, I'm already forgetting this thumbnail. Let's check out the top 25 to see where teams are ranking uh, based off of loss, losses and wins and stuff like that. Now, uh, Alabama, uh, I forgot to check, but they did lose, I'm assuming, to uh, Texas A&M. So, that's uh, cash money. And then, I think Oklahoma's playing Texas, and Texas lost to Oklahoma. And they dropped down quite a bit. Now... Not really that much crazy stuff going on during this week of games. Now, let's check out the Heisman race and see where we're sitting at, sitting comfy. And we're sitting atop of that as well. Let's go over to the skills upgrade because I haven't actually checked this yet. So, I might ha I, usually I focus my points on injury and stuff, but I, I really want to get my speed up to be quite honest. So, let's just upgrade this. We're now at a solid 95 speed. And to be quite honest, let's just get that 99 overall throw power, because... And then while we're at it... No, we, we get nothing out of that. And while we're at it, let's get that, too. That's a waste, but it's fine. Now, I see Georgia Tech has uh, went up in the rankings. Now, we play Wake Forest this week, so it shouldn't be that much of a challenge. But if Georgia Tech can sit pretty at, at, uh, in the top 10 and keep winning, that'll be 
fan-freaking-tastic. That's literally what we need for the rest of the season. Now, they do play Miami this week. I don't see Miami being such a large target for them. So, yeah. I'm assuming, yeah, that's going to be the end of this episode. If you enjoyed it, press the like button. You Just press the like button. Slam it. Completely annihilate it. Subscribe if you're new, and that's all I got. See ya. That's all, folks.